Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make postings go from your WordPress website and automatically post to your Facebook page. All right, so here's what we have to do. First, go to log into your Facebook account. All right, now here's my Facebook account. This really isn't my Facebook account. This is just a test one that I use. So anything you see on here really is just for the sake of this demo and so forth. So anyhow, here's the first thing you need to do. Go to this top search bar and type in the keyword networked the keyword networked and you'll see this app come up called network blogs click on network blogs and it will bring you to this page now on this page what you need to do is click on add to my page you click on add to my page you choose your Facebook page that you want to add it to this is my sample Facebook page I'm doing this test for and you click on add to page after that you're all set you could click on close and now you could go to application see this next button right here go to application go ahead and click on that and now here at this point it's going to request permission you could go ahead and put allow you have to put allow in order to use this tool and then now at this point here's what you need to do click on home up here at the top oh actually you have to just choose five places to follow so just choose five of them that you might like I'm just gonna pick five just out of the blue just to make this happen so okay so I chose five now I go I click on profile alright and now at this point after clicking profile here's what you want to do go click on the home setting once more and now we're gonna register a blog right up here where the register a blog button is so you click on register a blog and put in all your information. I'm going to press pause and fill in some information real quick. Okay, so after filling in your information, just make sure that you know you, um, oh yeah, click on add tagline. So add something that makes sense for you. So, um, you know, uh, WordPress real estate marketing. I'm just going to, I'm making something up. So anyhow, uh, after you fill this out, go ahead and click on next. after you click next it's gonna ask you if you're the author of the page you just created click on yes and then you need to verify that you're the author so click on this is the easiest and quickest one use widget to verify ownership so go ahead and click on this and now we're gonna end up having to log into our actual URL that we entered when we registered use this one though number one choose right here blogger self-hosted WordPress tumblr um, I'm assuming if you have if you use WordPress.com, the free one, meaning your website is josh.wordpress.com or something like that, use this one. But if you have your own self-hosted WordPress, maybe you got it with us as Tizish or maybe you have from someone else, or you just look at these services, click on this one, install widget. After you click on install widget, it's going to give you this code. Just click all that code, put copy, and now let's go log into our, our admin panel for the page we created. So here I am in my admin panel for the site I'm using as this demo which is joshgalvin.com what you need to do is go under appearance and click on widgets now here under widgets here's what you need to do click the sidebar that you have and find a widget called text so see this one here called text I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna drag it into my sidebar So we're going to take this text, we're going to drag it all the way to our sidebar, anywhere in the sidebar, because we're just going to put it in here and then remove it. So after you drag it into your sidebar, just click, you know, you, no title, doesn't matter. After that, just hit paste. Right click and hit paste all that code we just copied. After that, click on save. Now that it's done loading, I can go back to the Facebook page found here where we took the code from originally. And now all you have to do is click on verify widget and this might happen see how it says verification failed here's what you're gonna have to do well actually if that happens uh, just click on verify widget one more time by going back into your system clicking save one more time and coming back here to verify again you just need to do the same process one more time and hit save so anyhow after that go ahead and click on next and now we're pretty much almost complete so you see right here this is your blog page now let's activate publishing to Facebook this is the final step we have to click on setup syndication and now here these are the final two places 
you can choose to auto post your your uh, your WordPress blog postings to your personal profile as well as when you click on fan pages configure as well as auto publish to your Facebook page uh, wall as well it's your choice but this tutorial is showing you how to make it go to your wall so when you click on that button you're gonna have this box come up click on allow and then you'll see here publish a test post to verify that your settings are correct you could do that if you want I like to do a test one so when I hit publish we'll go to the page now let's go to the fan page to see it and here we go we see the test posting here this is a test post done so now at this point one more thing you have to do on your fan page make sure you just do this click on this arrow and click on the one that says blog that pretty much is your network blog system that'll have a tab here that'll show all your latest blog postings and it'll say blog it's gonna show them all alright now understand at this point you're all done at this point anytime you you're in your WordPress website let's say like this is obviously tizish.com it's a WordPress based site when you're here and you automatically hit the publish button what's gonna happen it's gonna now take from network blogs that gets your feed and automatically post it to your wall when you do everything I showed you in this video alright now one more quick tip um, I it's up to you if you want to have it auto published to your personal profile but if you want to all you gotta do is click on this checkbox and then click on allow it's really straightforward after doing that um, you don't have to do a test one as well it's up to you again so anyhow um, after that you're all set you know you just you could hit a test and now you're all set now um, just to give you my tips I don't recommend in general I usually don't recommend auto publishing blog postings to your fan page or your personal profile because I like to add custom text to the description of the post to make someone want to actually click on it but for any reason if you want to do it just do everything in the tutorial and make sure that these two items are checked off in the syndication settings and then you're all set now if you want to uncheck them all you gotta do is just click on uncheck and then now after doing that you're all set you don't have to, now if you uncheck them you don't they won't be auto posting now let's say how do you find this from your actual wall like let's say you're here on your profile right you clicked on network blogs or let's just say you're on your Facebook page and let's say after about two months uh, you don't want to have auto posting right and you want to remove this application well here's what you do click on network blogs which will be under uh, let's rewind on your main home page of your Facebook login you'll see here something that says applications when you click on applications this is when you'll see under your applications find network blogs and when you click on network blogs now click on profile and then now click onto the blogs that I write and now here you won't see this anymore but let's just say if you want to remove your automatic syndication you're gonna to have to go to this section here under syndication and click that and then now you would just uncheck them of course you would just click on uncheck this and uncheck this setting here and that's everything now one more item let's say you just want to completely delete this system you want to completely delete this well here's what you do you click on blogs that I write and then under here you're gonna click on edit details and here on this page you're gonna scroll down to this section here that says delete this blog and all you gonna do is click delete and it's gonna remove this entire blog from this system so that's it so that's everything on how to make your WordPress postings auto publish to your Facebook page and then all the other settings involved with it that you may come across as you change your mind or you know figure out new ways to use this all right so hit the like button on uh, on our Facebook on this Facebook post that you're looking at and uh, let us let me know how you're using it I would love to see your fan page and see how they look and how they look with the auto posting all right well that's everything good luck hit like on this video and take care